Well, welcome to Philadelphia. Enjoy the view. Nothing like trash laying all over the side of the road. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so I get this question a lot and I'm gonna make it quick and uh, explain to you um, why I do this. Okay, so people catch on and you guys are pretty good catch on in these videos that I am running tri uh, main trailer tags. And uh, there's a few reasons why, uh, two main reasons. Um, number one, it's cheap. And number two, it's easy. So we'll start with the cheap part. Um, so when I got my new trailer, I um, obviously had to get a title in my name and had to get plates for it. Um, so when I got the title and everything and I got back home, I contacted my agent in Maine, who's called the Stob Agency. I'll link down in the description below. Um, contacted them. Um, they have a form on their website. You fill it out and uh, you put like your VIN number, um, how many tires, how many axles, um, GVW, and um, just a couple other things. Color of the trailer just so they have an idea and I guess can put on the registration that they'll be sending you. Um, so filled out that paperwork and I emailed it to them at um, eight o'clock in the morning. So they got back to me, I said, give me a call. Um, just wanna make sure that the cost is right and um, just that I have everything squared away. Uh, so she called me at like 9.30 or so and said, hey, I got your, your email. Um, the only thing I need from you is payment. Um, I did a five year registration or five year tag, five year registration and um, came out to uh, about $178 for five years. Now that $178 included. All right, sorry about that. The dogs are going nuts upstairs. Um, so that $178 included my five year tags, uh, my registration, a title with my name on it, and um, $35 for overnight shipping. So for about less than $20 a year, you can register your trailer in Maine. Um, all you have to do is pay them a one-time $20 um, power of attorney fee, and then for the rest of your life, you don't have to pay that fee again, and uh, they can process all your paperwork for you. Um, so, like I said, number one is cost. It's cheap. Number two, it's easy. So, like I said, I emailed her at 8 o'clock in the morning, and uh, 9.30, get a phone call, go over everything. I give her my credit card information. And by 10 o'clock, she sends me a confirmation email that says, hey, everything's been processed. All you need to do is send me your title, uh, send me the tracking number when you do ship it so I can keep an eye on it, make sure it shows up. And uh, since I ordered, I put the order through before 12 noon on a Monday, I paid the $35 for overnight shipping. I will have my tags in Pennsylvania from Maine in my mailbox by the next day. It's cheap and it's easy. Um, so I don't know the whole logistics behind how this works and I really don't care because I see people with it all the time. You know, hundreds of companies out there are using Maine tags. Um, one thing I have been told by a DOT officer is that the there's roughly, on a bad year, there's about $6 million, and on a good year, there's $15 million going to the economy in Maine. And, you know, in a, an economy like Maine, um, you know, any amount of money can help stimulate the economy, which is great. So... A lot of DOT officers won't bother or do too much investigating when people have main tags. It's completely legal. Um, these agencies are licensed to do anything from, you know, if you live in PA, you live in California, it does not matter. Uh, once they get that $20 fee, they can process all your paperwork for you. And like I said, uh, usually it's about three to five business days if you don't pay for the expedited shipping. Uh, but I did just because I needed the tags. And I needed to get that trailer on the road as soon as possible. So um, if you have any questions, I'm going to link their um, their website down below of the agency I use. And um, they'll get you squared away. Um, like I said, it's um, 
about 20 bucks a year or less for registration. Don't have to pay tax on your initial purchase price of the trailer and you don't have to get a state inspection. Yes, you do have to have your annual DOT inspection, but some states require like a mandatory state inspection every year on trailers. Um, and you do not have to do that with main tags and registration. So any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I can walk you through it. It's easy, it's cheap, and that's why I use it for every one of my trailers. I've probably done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven main trailer tags in my time. And uh, I have had zero issues ever since. So if any questions, down in the comments below. If not, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up on each video and we'll see you on the next one.